Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be doing my first tutorial. I knew that I wanted to do something really fun and colorful and because Pantone has chosen emerald green as the color for 2013, I thought it would be a really fun way to kick off the year by doing an emerald green tutorial. For the emerald colors, I will be using a mixture of my BH Cosmetics 4th edition 120 color eye palette and a little bit of my natural at night palette by Too Faced. Um, I just didn't have all the colors in one palette or in singles that I could use, so sorry for jumping around to different palettes. I'm sorry if that's confusing, but that's just what I kind of had to do to get the colors that I was looking for. And to offset the cool tone of the emerald green, I decided to do a really warm cheek and lip. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, just keep watching. I have already applied my Soft Ochre Paint Pot as a primer and dusted over that with this Wet n Wild eyeshadow in Brulee to help with blending. Now I'm going to be using this Maybelline Color Tattoo, oops, Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is Mossy Green. It is a really nice emerald green cream shadow. And I'm just gonna apply this right onto my lid. Not very carefully or precisely, just kind of getting it on there. I'm kind of avoiding the inner corner with this color. Now I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and sort of blend the top edges of this, just going over any lines or streakiness or finger marks. Using a flat shader brush, this emerald green color right here, I am just going to stick this right on my lid Still kind of staying out of my inner corner. These BH Cosmetics eyeshadows are really pigmented and really shimmery, so I recommend patting instead of swiping over the eye just to avoid any fallout or any green color all over your face. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush in that same color and I'm going to make sure I got really close to my lash line just because I don't like it when there's any bare space there. I am just going to carefully drag this under my eye. A clean cosmetic sponge can kind of help pick up anything that you don't want under there, any mistakes that you made. The next color that I'm going to be using, more of an olive green color right here. Tap off any because once again, fallout can be pretty crazy and just gently sort of define the crease. And now I'm just going to use a fluffy blending brush, blend out those colors in my crease. I don't want them to get too muddy though, so I don't want to blend too, too much. And now I'm going to switch palettes to my Too Faced Natural at Night. Sorry for the palette jumping. I really wanted to use this really pretty sparkly dark green color in Night Fever. And I'm going to take that on another fluffy crease brush. This color I'm using just to get a little bit of extra dimension in the outer corner. I'm working it into the outer edge of my crease and then kind of pulling it down toward my lashes to make sort of a V shape. With the same pencil brush that I used under my eyes before, I'm going to take the same color, Night Fever, and go over my lower lash line, but really only the outer third. And once again, I'm going to carefully blend. For my highlight, I'm just going to use a little bit of the shimmery white and place this just right in the highest point of my brow bone. Just to make sure that my shadows are really nice and blended, I'm going to take this mid-tone brown color and nightcap right there and a MAC 224 brush lightly apply that right on top of the shadows so that there's a nice gradient up to my brow bone. Now for that inner corner that I've been saving, I'm going to take this NYX white eyeliner, apply this as a little bit of a base in there, to stick with that emerald theme, I'm taking this really, really light blue-green eyeshadow right there, and it's going to really pop on top of the white eyeliner. pulling that color 
into the greens that I've already applied to my bottom lash line. You can see really brightens up my eyes. Once again, I'm taking a cosmetic sponge and just trying to pick up any excess color that I don't want under my eyes. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Gel Liner and this skinny little brush that it came with. Carefully dragging a little bit on my lower lash line. and a couple of coats of black mascara. I am going to be using this MAC Hot and Naughty 2 Black Lash. Oops. I just got it on my nose. Oops. Ah, just got it on my cheek. I'm a mess. So that is the completed emerald eye look. For my cheeks, I decided to do something that was really warm and peachy, and so I chose this Tarte Blush in Magic and my MAC MSF in Stereo Rose. I decided I had enough going on on my face and just to do something really neutral and nude, so I did Revlon's Peach Petal Gloss and L'Oreal Ferris Nude Lipstick. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this emerald tutorial, and I hope to see you again. Have a great day. Bye.